Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Beth and I like to make beauty, fashion and lifestyle videos. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you stick around. For today's video, it's going to be an exciting one. I've seen a couple of these videos floating about on YouTube. I've seen someone follow Nikki Tutorials makeover tutorial. I've seen someone follow Jeffree Star makeup tutorial. I've seen quite a few. But I was thinking of coming up with a video of choosing my person who I'd follow their tutorial. And I chose the person Soap Does Nails. I love Soap Does Nails channel. I love the fact that she uses a lot of drugstore products, which is why I'm gonna do this video as well, because mostly what I buy is drugstore, let's just say that. So yeah, I didn't get every single product what she used to a T, but they're somewhat similar. You'll see what I mean. But before I get into the video, I just want to let you know I'm doing a giveaway at the moment and it's open till the end of the month. There's gonna be two winners. The grand prize winner will win this beautiful GHD gold styler gift set. It's in lavender, that color. The winner at prize will win this Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. Let me just say, whoever wins this, I'm gonna be really jealous because I really wanted to keep this for myself, but no, I'm giving it to one of you guys. If you really want the chance to win those prizes, then click on the link in the description below and that'll take you straight to my giveaway. Don't forget, if you really like this video, make sure give it a thumbs up it really does help and if you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos and yeah without further ado let's just get into the makeup so if you're wondering which makeup tutorial I followed on Save Just Nails I did film this last Tuesday I'm following the makeup tutorial drugstore glam for everyone single or in a relationship who cares yeah I'll just put it up here or here I don't know I chose that one because in the video she uses her palette which I'm excited to use because I want to use it even more I chose this because she doesn't wear pinks very often like she said in the video and I myself I love pink so the fact that she chose some pink shades in the palette made me happy and I was just excited to do the video I don't normally do this but she started off you know straight away into the primer and foundation I normally do my eyes first so I'm just gonna do what Soph does and just try to do how she does it so for the primer Soph used the Revlon photo ready I think but I didn't have that so I went for the elf poreless face primer it's just this I think it's the same consistency it comes out white and it's quite creamy and I'm just gonna put this on my face this feels so weird because this is not my routine whatsoever so I don't know how this is gonna go. So if you used a setting spray to wet a sponge, but I've made it to the sink this time. Usually when I do a makeup video, I always forget to wet my sponge. So for this video, I've actually wet my sponge this time. For foundation, I think Soph used the Max Factor one, but I don't have that unfortunately, but I'm gonna use the Superstay by Maybelline. I know that Soph swear by this foundation and I'm just gonna use that. So I'm just gonna dot that around my face. I really should have put my hair back. <laughs> I've also tried to go over pink jumper as well. I didn't have any pink headband. And I'm just gonna blend this in. I think Soph used a beauty blender, but I don't have one. So I'm just using the Real Technique sponge. By the way, this foundation is full coverage, if you're wondering. And I think it's a really good drugstore foundation for long lasting finish, if that's what you want. If you're wondering what shade it is, I've got the 05 Light Beige. So for the concealer, I've just recently bought this. I've been after this for so long. Long. It's every time I've been in Superdrug, it's been sold out. Even the testers were gone. That's how hyped up it was. But I got the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Got my shade in C1, and I was so glad I got this. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. I think this dries pretty quick, so I'm gonna try do it quick. I'm gonna rub it in my finger though. I just feel like it warms up the product more. For the face powder, I saw Soph use the NYX powder, but I'm gonna use the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte, which is a translucent powder as well. So I'm gonna go in with that. I'm just gonna powder where, put my concealer. Okay, so for contour, Soph uses the Bleach London one, but I don't have that. But I remember quite a few videos back, she mentioned about the Pro Artist HD Pro Refills Pro Contour. So you can get that from Tan Beauty. And I love it so much that I'm nearly running out and I always use this as a contour because it's a really taupe shade and I feel like that suits me more. So I'm just gonna contour, contour. I always go for this, but I am looking for another drugstore contour, but I just don't know what, yeah. By the way, I haven't practiced this makeup at all. I haven't looked at anyone else's videos who followed Hugh's tutorial. This is all by myself, just without watching anything, without practicing. This is all fresh. I look weird without my eyes done. 
I'm not used to it. That's blended. Okay, so I am currently watching a video at the same time so I don't miss anything out. So if also uses a big fan brush as well for contour and just contoured. So for bronzer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution, just the shade there. And I'm just going to use a bronzer brush. It's like an angle. And I'm just going to bronze up my face as it needs bronzing. I haven't used this bronzer in ages. Okay, so for the blush, I am going to go in, oh, with the same palette, but use this side. And I'm just going to blush my cheeks. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I think I put too much on, but oh well. So for highlighter, I saw Sophie use the Kiko highlight. It's like a gold one, and it was in the shape of a heart. It was super cute. So I'm going to use her highlighter palette, which this is so pigmented, honestly. I'm going to go in the shade. I think the Kiko highlight on her video was a tad too dark for her, she said. So she had to go in the white highlighter to like to like tone it down a bit. But I'm gonna use this shade here because even though I love this palette, I haven't used this shade yet because I, I always thought it was too dark for my skin tone. But she like swatched it on her hand. Where she swears by it, it's not even too dark. It's really nice shade. So I'm gonna take up on her advice and use it so let's see this oh she wasn't wrong there wow oh my god that's amazing because I I just I just shied away from that shade and it's actually really so pretty yes you go so honestly I'm I'm blown away that highlight is amazing Woo! I feel like an angel I can't get over it. I can't stop. I won't stop. Oh, oh, I need to stop. Okay, we've done the highlight. I'm just going to double check what she does next on her video. Oh, I noticed she used like, oh, what could I use here? I noticed she used like a blending brush for a highlight. So I'm going to try to do that even though I've got a highlight on. I think it grabs what you wanted to grab on the cheekbone. Like it makes it more where you want the highlight to go. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah. On for the main part, I would say, is the eyeshadow. And for the transition shade, we're gonna use Peaches here. Have this on our eye. I was so excited when she uses the Strawberry Sweet shade because that shade is my favorite color in the palette. So I was so happy when she used it. These shadows blend beautifully, no joke. I love the fact it's got a massive mirror on as well. I'm going to take a smaller brush like what Sophie did and we're going to go in the shade Strawberry Sweets, which is this pink colour here. I love this colour and the, the name of it is just so cute. Okay, so she goes on full of her eyelid. I'm so sorry if I keep looking back on the video. My mind is just, it's not like my, my mind's not like great. My memory ball's not that great. So she literally just went on her eyelid with a smaller brush and I think she just like, just blended just blended out. This is such a pretty colour. I'm in love. I'm pretty sure she winged her eyeshadow out as well, which I'm going to try to do. Don't know if I can though. I've got a feeling this is going to be too pink to watch she, how much she put on. Is that too much? Can't tell. Okay, so I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to use my Spectrum brush. I'm just going to blend it out. It's just so pink. I'm not sure if that's blended enough. I didn't blend as much as my eyeballs hurt. <laughs> no, I'm only joking because that's what she said. And I like the fact you can see the peaches a bit on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but I like that. So she doesn't do a cut crease, thank God, because cut creases, I'm not very good at them and they're very time consuming. Instead, she goes into mud cake which is this warm brown shade here. And she just runs it across her lash line and her outer thirds of her eye. I'm gonna go with the same brush, but I'm just gonna like get all the pink off and just go on the outer thirds. Uh, I don't want to put too much on because I don't want to take away the pink because I'm loving this pink right now. I'm just gonna blend that bit out. Okay, so next she goes in with like a shimmer and she chooses pink champagne, which is my favorite shade as well. Strawberry sweets and pink champagne are my favorite ones in this palette. And she goes in the center of her eyelid. And I'm gonna go on the other eye, do the same. 
I'm going to go in my inner corner as well, the same product on the brush, and just run it through the first part of the lower lash line. This makes such like a really pretty inner corner highlight. I feel like a fairy. Wow. Next, she goes into Strawberry Sweet again and goes in her lower lash line. Then she goes in the lower lash line again and goes in Mud Cake, which is that chocolate brown one again. Oh, thank God the postman isn't here. Well, I've ordered no post. I don't know why I come when I do a makeup video, I feel like the postman will come in. I don't know why. Okay, so next she cleans up the eyeshadow. I think she uses a powder, but I'm gonna go with the Lottie Ready Set Go powder and I'm gonna clean up the eyeshadow. I've never done it this way before. Like I've always like, cause I always do my eyes first, so they're clean anyway. But let's see. Yeah, that kind of works. So she hasn't got a wing line it, which is great. So I can't take more battery on my camera. In the video, she uses a CoverGirl mascara. She also mentioned that CoverGirl and Max Factor is basically the same company, which I did not know. So that was something I learned. With the mascara, because I don't have the CoverGirl mascara, I'm gonna go with Miss Baby Roll by L'Oreal Paris. I super love this packaging. It's so unicorny. Oh, she also uses eyelashes, which I already had the same brand from Primark, so Sue. Oh, I'm not very good at eyelashes, but I'm gonna try and do it. If it doesn't work out, I'm not gonna wear eyelashes, but I'm just gonna prep my eyelashes with Miss Baby Roll first. Oh my God, the wind. So windy. Oh, it's got in my hair. Oh my God, I really wanna try the new Benefit Mascara. Is it Big Bang Bal? Big Bang Gal? Oh. The, I know that ain't right, but it's the new benefit mascara. I really want to try it out. I don't get why we pull pull weird faces when we do mascara. I'm not looking forward to this part because it's eyelashes. I'm pretty scared. So I am going to use the Sosu Deluxe Lashes, what you can get from Primark, and these cost five pounds. And I haven't worn them, and I brought them. I swear I brought them last year. And like not way last year, it was like De oh, December time because I was gonna wear them for New Year's Eve. Never did. I just can't do eyelashes. Okay, so let's try this. Mm, right, hope you take mine, but I'm gonna do this off camera because there's no way I'm gonna do this off camera. So be right back. Back, honestly, it, that literally took me about half an hour just to put this eye on. They're still not on right, but this is why I don't wear eyelashes because I don't know, I just don't think they suit me. Finally got those blooming eyelashes on and I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil. Unfortunately, this isn't drugstore because I'm yet still to find a good drugstore eye pencil. Uh, this is from Delilah Cosmetics and I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows. I'm not gonna do too much to my eyebrows because um, I don't really like to do too much to them, to be honest. I'm not really a brow gal, so. Let's just run some eye pencil through. I just need to clean it up there. Made a mistake. This concealer is so good for cleaning up mistakes, so bravo for that. That's literally all I'm doing for the brows. I like to brush them up, make them messy a bit. For the lips, she went for like a pinky, purpley lip and I can't decide which lip to go for. I mean, I've got these two Makeup Revolution ones. I could make a pink with this because this is quite too purple. So it's like that and then like that. I think them two can make a pink together mixed. Or I could just go for the Rimmel one. This is number 300 and go with that. This has got like a shine finish to it, but we'll go for this. So I've got a feeling this is gonna be too pink. I don't know, should I add the purple to it? Mm, I could add the purple round it out a bit. Okay, so this is the final look. I really love this makeup look. It might not be to the exact. I mean, I say so. It did her own look better, of course, as it's her own look. But I think I did pretty okay. 
yeah, I think I did okay. The more I look at my eyelashes, the more, the more I'm getting used to them and the more it's growing on me. If you really like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with your friends or share it with Soph if you like. I'm really liking it and I hope Soph gets to see this. Thank you so much for using my favourite shades in your palette. That's the end of my video today. Thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me today. And yeah, I hope to see you soon on my next video. Don't forget about the giveaway at the start. The giveaway to my link is in the description below. I shall hopefully see you soon on my next video. Bye!